Hello everyone. Till now we have completed Gulliver's Travels book 1, 2 and 3 in separate videos. Today we are going to deal with book 4 and here Gulliver was taken to Hoenims. Okay? So what was his visit all about? Let us find out. But remember that it was not similar to other chapters. To some extent we can find similarity between first and second chapter but not much. Okay? So let us see what had happened in this story. At first let me tell you that after coming back from third visit, uh, he set out again for another voyage. Okay, And this time, unfortunately, his own crew members ditched him. He had gone out for the journey and in the middle of the voyage, many crew members fell ill and they died. Now, in order to run ship, he required many members and he hired from local places. But they turned, they turned out to be pirates and then... Gulliver was confined to his cabin for so many days and in somehow he saved his life and he was he landed to a very unusual place which name is Hoenims okay and these Hoenims are land uh, was land of horses which were very intelligent okay these horses were very intelligent and they were cleaner they were more rational communal benevolent than human beings okay they were intelligent because human beings, even though they are intelligent, their intelligence is not required for the development of um, the world. Okay, they are destroying. So what is the use of their intelligence? So it's better, animals are better than human beings. That is the comparison that Gulliver does in this book. Then we see, compared to human beings, uh, hyenims are cleaner. Okay, they have, uh, they, they have knowledge of medicinal herbs. Okay, they have knowledge of health and hygiene, which human being lacks because of which uh, pandemics and other diseases are being uh, are caused in the world okay then we see they are more rational whatever plans they make they are more rational and whatever work they are into they are more practical okay and they are communal these horses are communal because they believe in uplifting uh, entire members of the community if one person is not eligible to upgrade their uh, way of living then other horses they communicate among themselves and then they try to uplift that particular weak and uh, uh, fin I mean financially weak person's life okay so that entire community can grow in a progressive way okay they are very benevolent they are very kind-hearted person they are very generous person who believe in giving uh, happiness and kindness kindness to others okay and there is no question of evil and deception they are very sincere horses and they don't have any knowledge of the treacheries of modern world okay so these horses or these horses represents animals all right these animals are much more intelligent than human beings then comes yahoos okay yahoos are animals with long hair goat like beards sharp claws and ugly features and here we find yahoos are compared uh, with um, they are animals okay but they're sorry they are human beings but their behavior is totally just like animals they are very brutish they are very brutal they are fil filthy there is no knowledge of health and hygiene they are very brutal okay they hurt others they are saddest person they are greedy they are power hungry they are uh, money hungry people okay they are they are degenerate human race humanoid race okay they are not capable of being called as humans because of their deeds okay that entire race is uh, full of evil and uh, hypocritic nature now some of them they have tamed an ironic twist now here we find some of the yahoo some of the human beings are tamed and it is so ironic here horses are not tamed usually animals are tamed but here in this world in this uh, place okay which is hoenims here yahoos are tamed okay just like animals they are tamed it means a, f a following of a stereotypical life okay even after being human they are not able <coughs> they are not able to see significance of their life okay so they are they are behaving like animals they are, in sort they behave insensitively okay on the human on the human beast relationship now this text is all about human beast relationship human being it's not about uh, having only appearance okay it is about having a um, heart which is of human being okay and not the heart of beast Hoenims are very curious about Gulliver. Now here, let me tell you what happens. Gulliver reaches to that place, which is Hoenims. Okay, he finds Yahoos. Okay, these Yahoos, I told you that they are very ugly and uh, they are not 
um, which a human being should be. Okay, and Gulliver was chased by these yahoos, and he had to hide. Okay, in order to save his life. At that point of time, horse, one of the horse arrives and saves Gulliver's life. Now, Gulliver becomes, you know, shows very weird expression because. animals were talking and not only one there were two three more okay in that community there were um, many horses which has which had made a society in this world now when gulliver was chased by yahoos it is horses who saves him and horses takes him to their house and all these things were very weird to gulliver because animal was talking animal saved his life okay and animal was taking him to his uh, taking him to their house okay and the uh, hoinims they uh, i told you that they are a family members of horses so gulliver when he comes to their house <coughs> he was thinking that he will meet with human beings and he is going to give the gift that he brought in the voyage but when he took out his gift and reached the house he found it was all horses in the family and um, he was so surprised okay and even hoinims were surprised and they wanted to know more about gulliver because gulliver's expression made them think so many uh, unusual things about him and gradually they start talking about their community and their way of living gulliver talks about his way of living his society his uh, development of the country everything okay and uh, by living there he understands way of living of hoinims or horses all right now let's move ahead Gulliver describes his country and the master Hoynims. Okay, Gulliver describes his country, that is England. Okay, he talks about industrial revolution, way of living of human being, uh, in England. Okay, and uh, how they are making cannons, guns. Okay, how they are developing, but that is not approved by master of Hoynims. They also talk about their way of living, and they say that they give utter priority to health, hygiene. Medis, uh, they have utter knowledge about medicinal plants, okay. And they, uh, this master Hoynims asked that why, what is the reason behind the clash between the countries? He especially talks about the clash of France and England, okay. So master Hoynims asked what is the reason behind that fight? When Gulliver explains that he does not approve of the fight because the reason behind that is so. illogical according to him this shows that these horses were above human beings okay then hoynims concludes that the people of england are not more reasonable than the yahoos these yahoos who act so brutally okay they are not less than the people of england okay these yahoos and people of england can be compared all right at last it's decided that uh, gulliver must leave hoynims and gulliver then returned to then returned to england so disgusted with humanity now after being there in this land hoynims okay he had a strong liking for this place he loved these animals more than human beings okay he wanted to uh, stay there usually what happens when we uh, go to some un unknown and unusual place we want to come back soon back to our house but that did not happen gulliver started having liking for this place and he did not want to come back okay but he had to therefore he comes back somehow but he was so disgusted he did not like humanity he wanted to avoid he started avoiding his family okay and he buys horses he buys two horses and he started conversing with uh these two horses instead okay so by this the text ends friends uh, here we find human beings should behave just like a human being like helping others not planning to hurt others okay and when we compare our uh, compare ourselves with the uh, animals they are much more better that is what is the message of this text as a whole we find return to nature is the theme of this story so by this we have concluded this story friends i hope you have got idea about the text we will meet very soon with another video till then take care bye bye